All right, so the next movement, we have a banded overhead squat. So what we're gonna have you start out with is get a, a stance with your feet at about uh, shoulder width apart. Great, all right, and now it's this overhead squat. I'm gonna have you grip that band as far apart as you can, with your palms down, bring it right overhead. Excellent, really pop it up over your head. Excellent, cool. So now I'm gonna have you do is go through a regular squat motion. So sit back into a squat, okay. <laughs> and then stand right back up. Cool, let's do a few more reps of those. So what I'm looking for in this overhead squat is I'm looking for first his knee position. So look how his knees are staying over his feet. That's excellent. And stand right back up. Now go ahead and face that wall. We're gonna look at it from a different angle. So let's look at his torso position. So go ahead. Cool. So notice how he's getting this forward lean and the band shifts forward. But that's telling me he's probably got some some shoulder mobility issues, or his hips are tight, or his ankles are tight. So there's a quick way, a quick thing that we can help him fix this. Stay right there for him. Make sure you don't let those shoulders relax. Don't keep them burning. All right. So now what we're going to have Corey do is just lift his ankles up, and this is going to improve his mobility. So great. So go ahead and pop your, your heels up onto those plates. All right. Get the Thing right over our head, cool. Drop the ribs. All right, now go into that overhead squat. So now look how vertical that torso is. That's gonna put less stress on his back. It's gonna help him perform this movement more efficiently, but ultimately prevent injury to a higher degree. So that is how you do the banded overhead squat.